All right, Saxon Math Course 2, we're in Lesson 90. Congratulations to getting to that level, to that number. That's a great lesson to be able to be to. Uh, we're going to be dealing with mixed number and coefficients and something called negative coefficients today. So let's jump right in, okay? Here's an example um, uh, that we will see, not example number one, but something close to example number one, um, of how to deal with a situation where we have uh, an, a variable, we have x right here, and 4 fifths x equals 7. In other words, 4 fifths times, if I can rewrite it here, times something, we don't know what that something is, equals 7. How do we figure out what that something is, okay? Well, if it's 4 fifths x, this is how we do it. We take this fraction and flip it, okay? It's called the reciprocal. And what we're going to do here, we're going to do the same thing on this side of the equal sign, okay? So take the reciprocal, 5 over 4. Now, here's what happens, okay? We want x by itself. We want to know what x equals, right? So look at this. The 4s cancel out and the 5s cancel out. And we're left only with x. So x equals 7 times 5 over 4, okay? This 7 is literally 7 over 1, okay? So what is 7 times 5? That equals 35 over 4. Four. So x equals 35 over 4. Now, you can change that into a mixed number. That's fine. But this is sufficient. We, we found out what x equals. Okay? Now, let's look at example 1. Okay? Example number 1 gives us a, a mixed number. Mixed number means you've got um, th uh, a, a, a coefficient. Okay? 3 and one-third. Three is called a coefficient. One-third is called the fraction, so this is a mixed number. Three and one-third x equals five. Well, in this one, we have to do one more step. We have to convert this to a fraction, okay? How we do that is we multiply these two, three times three, and then add the numerator. So three times three is nine, plus one is 10. So it's literally 10 over three x equals 5. Okay, again, how do we redo this? How do we get rid of, of um, this and keep the x? We do the reciprocal. Okay, and what we do over here, we do on this side of the equal sign. The 10s cancel out, the 3s cancel out, we're left with x, right? x equals 5 times 3 over 10, or 5 over 1 times 3 over 10, okay? So, what does x equal? 5 times 3 is 15 over 10. We can reduce that by, by dividing by um, 5 on both sides, and we have 3 over 2. So x equals 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 third, if you want to divide that out and put it back into a mixed number, okay? All right, very good. Let's go to example 2. Example 2 gives two mixed numbers, okay? So, 2 and 1 half y equals 1 and 7 eighths. Convert these into mixed numbers first, okay? We don't want them in their full form. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2y equals 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 is 15 over 8, All right? Now, we can do it. Multiply by the reciprocal on both sides, 2 over 5. I always cancel these out. There's y equals 15 over 8 times 2 over 5. Now, I like to do some canceling here to make my, my math a little bit easier. So 5 divided into itself goes once. 5 into 15 goes 3 times. 2 into itself goes once. 2 into uh, 8 goes four times, okay? So now I'm left with three times one is three, four times one is four, boom, there's my answer, okay? That's positive, all right? What if we have a negative coefficient, all right? Well, if we have a negative coefficient, like example 
number 3. The problem is a negative 2 over 3x equals 4 over 5. All right, here's what we have to do. We have to multiply by the, the reciprocal negative, okay? So instead of 2 over 3, we're going to multiply by a negative 3 over 2, all right? And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply by a negative 3 over 2 on this side. So what happens here? All of these cancel off, including the two negatives, because it becomes positive. So now x equals 4 over 5 times a negative 3 over 2. All right? So I know my answer is going to be negative. So x equals, what's 4 times 3, it's 12. What's 5 times 2? It's 10. But notice this, I have a negative. We can reduce this. We can reduce it. If we re, uh, divide by 2, we get 6 over 5, and it's a negative 6 over 5, and I can get my answer. Okay? That's with fractions. We got one more step to make. Look at example number 4. Example number 4 says, negative 5x equals 0 0.24 all right so what do I do here how do I how do I manipulate this okay because I already have 5 here um, I can just divide by 5 on both sides that cancels out and I'm left with x excuse me divide by negative 5 Okay, which cancels out and leaves me x. Or if I can go back just a, a few steps here, okay, let me go back to what we have. Notice this, this uh, decimal point here, okay? If I were to move this decimal two places this way and make this 24, I could also move this decimal two places this way and make it 500. So I could really say negative 500 equals 24. Divide by negative 500, divide by negative 500, and my x, because these cancel off, is going to equal 24 over 500 and I can reduce that if you don't want to deal with the decimal point, okay? Just a little hint, just a little trick in order to show you how to manipulate that, okay? But if you don't, if you actually run it through, and I'll do, I'll do it the, uh, the old-fashioned way, okay? So it was negative 5x equals 0 0.24. We divide by negative 5. We divide by negative 5. These two cancel off. I'm left with x equals a negative 5 divided into um, a 0.24. Okay? And what does that what does that come up with? What do we come up with? Okay? Well, 5 can't go into 2, so we have to put a 0 here. 5 can go into 24 how many times? Well, 4. And then we have to add a zero here, drop it down, and five goes into 48 times, and there's our decimal. So our answer is 0 .048, or 0 .048 thousandths, okay? So just the same way, example number four, this is how they want you to do it in your textbook, and I give you a little bit of a uh, a different way to do it. I can still uh, come up with the same answer here that I do there, and it's still going to come up with a 0 .048, but you're dealing with larger numbers with that little kind of help, okay? Either way, works. So that's your lesson for today. If you have any questions at all, please let me know, and I will be more than happy to help.